miracle in every life, manifestation in every life, demonstration in every life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And that's your tonic for today. Dr. W. F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Visit our social media platforms for a life-changing experience. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumui. The fruit of the Spirit is gentleness and goodness now. And can your wife be hungry, dying of hunger, starvation, and you look the other way? You're coming home, you're, you're eating in the office, in your cafeteria over there, and when you get home, you don't care who is happy, who is not happy, who is fed, who is not fed. You'll be good. How can you hide your money from your wife, from your husband? And the members of the family are suffering. Where is the fruit of the Spirit? The fruit of the Spirit is goodness. There'll be goodness coming out of you. And then we'll see our neighbors. We'll see our brothers and sisters. And they're suffering. And we can leave them there in the cold. And leave them there in the heat of the sun. And we'll just zoom up and drive up. And there's so much space in the car. Can't you ask, sister, where are you going? Brother, where are you going? And then, if they're going your way, then you can give a helping hand. Something practical, something visible, that the Spirit of God will bring forth. And the fruit of the Spirit is faith. Faith, yes, we have faith in God. Do you have confidence, trust in your wife? Faith. Do you have confidence, faith in your husband? Faith. Do you have trust, confidence in a fellow brother, in a fellow sister? There are people, they don't have faith trust in anyone they, they look ahead and they say I know he's going to make a mistake he has not made the mistake I know he's going to take a wrong step he has not taken the wrong step they have so much suspicion they don't have any faith any confidence any trust in anyone and so they go ahead of them to prevent the supposed mistake is likely to make that's not christianity my friend the fruit of the spirit is love and joy and peace and long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness trust him Believe his word and something is about to happen to you. Connect to this power-packed prayers. The Lord make you a picture, a pattern of Jesus Christ here on earth for everyone around you to see in Jesus' name. The love of Christ, the joy in Christ and the peace of Christ and the patience, perseverance, and the long suffering in Christ, the world around you will see in Jesus' name. Your meekness will not be hidden. Your lowliness will not be hidden. And the very picture of the Lord Jesus living out of you, everyone around your world, they will see in Jesus' name. To listen to the whole of this message, visit our website or follow the link below. You will be glad you did. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. How do we know the sons of God? Apart from what they say, apart from their testimony, how can you look at somebody and say, that's a child of God? How can I look at somebody and say, this is one of them that John, the beloved by the Spirit, said, behold now. 
Are they the sons of God now? Are we the sons of God? How can your husband tell that you have become a daughter of God? How can your wife tell you become a child of God? How can your parents tell that you have become a child of God? How can your teachers in school, how can fellow students, how can other people say it's different? We see some marks, we see the evidence. This is a child of God. How can your neighbors who have known you for a long time, they knew you long, long ago before you said you accepted Christ and you believed in Christ, and they knew your character at that time, and they see you now, and as they look at the difference between then and now, they say, this is a child of God. Number one, genuine repentance. Number two is true faith in Christ and there's salvation and newness of life. There's victory over temptation and there is a freedom from your old sinful life. And you have love for God and love for his word. And then there's obedience to God. This is the evidence. Do you know that you can make a complete change in your life? Christ came from glory for a purpose. Christ suffered, Christ bled, Christ died for a purpose. His blood was shed for a purpose. The purpose was to bruise Satan. The purpose was to destroy the power of the tempter. The purpose was to pay the penalty for our sins. The purpose was to put an edge to sin in. The purpose was to provide everlasting righteousness and purify us and make us ready and fit for heaven. He will do it in every life. Judgment day has not come yet. Whatever has happened, even if you have done wrong, he will forgive in Jesus' name. Somebody there is obtaining mercy today. The Lord is waiting for you. Let us therefore come boldly. He knows the challenge. He knows the problem. He wants to solve the problem now. He wants to be your present help. So there is no timidity now. Don't act like an orphan, like a fatherless person, a person that has no help. I look here, I look there. You know what you're doing? You're looking horizontally. Look vertically, look up. And as we're looking up, help will come like rain from heaven in Jesus' name. You can make the right choice today. Walking with God will make you different. You want to have that which Christ has provided for you? If you want to seal up that salvation, that you will possess it permanently. And it will give you the grace and the power not to go back into your old life of sinning. You will raise up your hand. We're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and glorify your name. You have said, Whosoever comes to you, you will not cast out. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All these new brothers and new sisters, they are calling upon you now. Lord, I pray for them. See, so are they God that never rejects anyone. Give them your salvation in Jesus' name. Give them that forgiveness right now in Jesus' name. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Let your spirit be a witness in their hearts that they are children of God. And the grace to live in newness of life every day of their lives. Give unto them right now. Let that mighty change happen in every life right now. We well, thank you because we know it is done. Salvation has come. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations, you are now saved. Please share your testimonies with us via our social media platforms. Dr. W.F. Kumui will love to hear from you. And that's today's Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello, here is your Tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumui. God's Highway to the believers double portion double portion upon my life double joy double happiness double miracle double healing double deliverance double dominion double power double promotion double provision and double inheritance 
double, double, double for you. He gives a commission. And then that commission has promises that are not static. Promises that are not dead. Promises that are not dormant, but dynamic. The commission that he gives, and then he backs up that commission with dynamic promises. The consecration for a double portion. You see, there are people, they read the word of God, and the double portion is close to them. The double portion is so nearby. The double portion is just like they should stretch their hand and they will grab it. But they do not understand something standing between them and the double portion. That wall of partition between you and the double portion will crumble. But then there is a commitment. There is an absolute surrender. There is a yieldedness unto the Lord. There is a consecration for a double portion. Say not, the things we've been saying before, I cannot, I can't do it, I don't have, I don't amount to anything, I've tried before, I've always failed. No, that's in the past. There's a new day. Be not afraid of their faces. Some of them will look like Nebuchadnezzar. Be not afraid of their faces. Some of them will stand and talk and look like a pharaoh. But do not be afraid of their faces. Some of them will look like Sinakero. And then they will threaten and they will say, I will do this, I will do that. It's a lie. Nobody can touch your life again. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumui. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for all your children, you confirm your blessing double-fold in every life in Jesus' name. Every promise they have claimed and every power they have received, I pray there will be a manifestation in every life. Lord, I pray you accept their confession, accept their consecration, Accept their absolute surrender. Turn everyone, every brother, every sister to a different person in Jesus' name. Let your power reside inside them. Let your power go with them. And I pray, Lord, they'll pull down. Every power of the enemy, they'll pull down. Healing for everyone. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Lame, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for those who have any kind of a disease they were born with, take it away in Jesus' name. And the power of serpents, of scorpions, of evil spirits, of evil power, of demonic oppression, cancel it in Jesus' name. Boldness upon your people. Power upon your people. Courage in your people. That Lord, everything that is negative is swept away in Jesus' name. Miracle in every life. Manifestation in every life. Demonstration in every life. Double portion. Double power. Double revelation. In Jesus' name we pray. And that's your tonic for today. You can reach out to Dr. W.F. Kumui on his pages so you can get more of this therapeutic tonic. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumui. You know, something surprises you. When people come and they look at the promises of God, the next thing is prayer. And prayer is wonderful. God answers prayer. And God is going to answer your prayer. And there are promises the Lord has given us. And people are saying, Pastor, give me the promise and then pray for me. That's all I want. But you know, there is a price to pay along with the promise let me explain it to you like this god gives a man who is a farmer he gives him a good land 
a fertile land and he gives him the crops and everything is ready for him to have an increase and to have a great harvest and then he says lord i thank you for your promise and then he sits in his house or kneels in his house or he comes to church and he says i love god and the promises of god are wonderful and he spends all the time praying 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 he never sows the seed will he have a harvest no the price he will pay is that he will take the seed yes he prays he thanks god he blesses the name of god but he goes to that land and he plants the seed harvest will come the promise and the price the provision is free yet we have to make necessary effort to possess to achieve we must act if you are idle and you fold your hand and you did nothing you're not going to achieve god is on your side the promises of god are there and the blessings of god are there but to achieve we must act to succeed we must study god has given us the brain he's given us the mind the books are there the schools are there and the opportunities are there I want to succeed God has promised to us thank God you are going to succeed but to succeed the price to pay we must study it's like I want to be righteous and the promises of God are there and the Word of God is very clear Christ died for me on the cross of Calvary but you know what to be righteous I must repent. I turn from my sin. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Righteousness will come. Hear this. God is aware of your pain. He knows your struggle. And he is the only answer to all your questions. He is waiting for you. Do not delay. Open your hearts and let the Lord Jesus come in. Right now, where you are, on your mobile phone, your tab, your laptop, wherever you're listening now, he can do it. He will take away your sorrows and give you peace. Just give him control over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these who have responded to your invitation and they have come to you as sinners. Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them pardon, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life, and the joy of salvation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Now it's time to receive your miracle. Trust him. Believe his word and something is about to happen to you. Connect to this power-packed prayers. Divine increase is coming in your family. The Lord is going to turn your life around. But right today's date down. Something unforgettable. Something unthinkable. Something incredible. All those things that are standing in your way, that cobweb, everything is cleared away today. Divine increase. Heavenly increase. Unforgettable increase. In Jesus' name we pray. And that's your tonic for today. You can reach out to Dr. W.F. Kumui on his pages so you can get more of this therapeutic tonic. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. Bye for now. Hello, my friend. Glad to have you join us today. Here is your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumui. It may surprise you. There are many people that have never heard there's anything called the rapture when Christ will come and the dead in Christ shall be raised up incorruptible and then believers that are still alive all of a sudden history of all mysteries 
the force of gravity will be suspended for everyone that is in Christ. It's going to be a mystery for science. It's going to be a, a mystery for people who are philosophical. It's going to be a mystery for educated people all over the earth because they never can tell. They never will know that there will be somebody around them called a believer, a saint of God, that all of a sudden will be caught up. The Lord is coming. I pray you be ready in Jesus' name. Many people think the sky is going to be there forever. All the stars and the moon and the sun, they are going to be there forever. But Jesus said, heaven and earth, he didn't say they pass away. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away. All the things that people are collecting together, they are gathering together. The dig from the earth, the gold and the silver and the bronze and all the metals and everything. And then they build something and they say, look at what I've got, all that will vanish away. Satan cannot stop this one. The world cannot stop this. Science cannot stop this. Philosophy cannot stop this. Society cannot stop this. The unbelief of the world cannot stop this one. The rapture will happen. What do we do? How do we get prepared so that you will not miss that day? The gift of God is without repentance. Salvation is full and free. Give your life to Jesus today by saying these words of prayer with Dr. Kumui. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, Lord, I want my salvation now. I don't want wickedness in my life again. Save me. Set me free from sin. Take away my sin. Take away my guilt. Take away my condemnation and give me forgiveness and give me eternal life and give me the grace to go and sin no more and it will give you a new life now the man of god will pray for you father in the name of jesus i thank you because whosoever comes to you you will in no wise reject whatever they have done in the past whatever how terrible, terrible it may be i pray lord forgive them in jesus name take every guilt away take every condemnation away and lord i pray the peace of god will settle in their hearts assure them lord because of the blood of jesus their sins are forgiven because of the blood of jesus their souls are saved because of the blood of Jesus, they will not perish. Because of the blood of Jesus, you will take them to heaven. Lord, I pray you confirm that salvation in every heart, every soul, right now, in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations. You are now saved. Please share your testimonies with us via our social media platforms. Dr. W.F. Kumi would love to hear from you. And that's today's Tanik with Dr. W.F. Kumi. Hello, here is your Tanik for today with Dr. W.F. Kumi. Ever increasing faith and power. Faith comes by the word of God hearing the word of God the word of God goes in front and faith always follows and once the word gets to your heart faith has arrived the apostles said unto the Lord increase our faith increase our faith your faith will increase when your faith increases, your power will increase. 
when your faith increases, your authority will increase. When your faith increases, your answer, the answer to your prayer will increase. Now when we talk of divine increase, it is not limited to having some material things. Yes, material things. Yes, work. Yes, employment. Yes, money. But it's not limited to that. And it is not restricted to any age group. The young will increase. The old will increase. Each one can have both revelation and realization of divine increase. God's revelation presents us with a new life. Increase your personal life. Abundant life. Increase of strength. Increase in the fulfillment of the promise of God in your life. Increase in every positive and profitable achievement. The Lord has promised us divine increase. Increase of blessing. Increase of fruitfulness. Increase of wisdom. Increase of needful supply. Increase of victory. There's going to be addition and multiplication of all good things in your life. In Jesus' name. Give your life to Jesus today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these who have responded to your invitation and they have come to you as sinners. Take all their sins away in Jesus' name. Give them freedom, eternal life, and the joy of salvation in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Now it's time to receive your miracle. Jesus has gone to the Father. And because of that, healing is now easy. Healing is now available. Every sickness in your body, I command right now. Come out in Jesus' name. Blind eyes open and see. Deaf ears open and hear. Dumb tongues be loose and speak out in Jesus' name. That short leg, I command that short leg, grow out now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And that's your tonic for today. You can reach out to Dr. W.F. Kumui on his pages so you can get more of this therapeutic tonic. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. Bye for now. It's another beautiful time for today's tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumui. There are people that think of God, they think they're honoring God as a sugar daddy, as an impotent God, as a powerless God, as a permissive God. And so they continue in sin and they continue in evil and they do not remember the words of Jesus or the words of the apostles or the words of the Spirit in the New Testament. They go on in their lives and after they have sown their wild oats in the world, then they come and then they say, God, you're a good God, you're a nice God, you're a loving God, bless me, bless me. God's blessing has condition. Those who sin and those who remain in sin is a God of judgment. That's why it says, O oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Then it says in verse 2, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. He's not a sugar daddy. Don't make a mistake. He punishes sin. 
he chastises backsliders and he judges the whole earth and whoever the person is in the whole earth he is the judge the eternal judge evil doers will be paid according to their works there are people that enact and edit a law and as an evil law to enslave people in sin to enslave people in dishonesty or in deception and they make it by a law if they are going to belong to this assembly or to this group of people here is the law here this is what you will do in romans chapter 12 reading from verse 19 dearly beloved avenge not yourselves but rather give a place unto wrath for it is reaching it is reaching vengeance is mine i will repay says the lord vengeance is his and therefore he will repay believe me my friend repentance is important through jesus christ our lord for those who have gone into sin, for those who are not saved, I pray your grace and your mercy and your love will reach them right now. Like a glowing river, that water of life will flow to everyone now in Jesus' name. Wash everyone, cleanse everyone, refresh everyone, restore everyone. Let the joy of salvation and the joy of restoration be in every life right now in Jesus' name. Connect to this power-packed prayers. Brother, all your problems are solved. Sister, all your problems are solved. All your diseases are taken away. All the power of the enemy is broken in Jesus' name. All your poverty is gone. Famine, local famine, family by famine will not kill you. Provision from on high. Providence from on high. Supply from heaven. Be abundantly satisfied in Jesus' name. Thanks for being part of this. Join us again for another edition of Today's Tonic with Dr. W. F. Kumui. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W. F. Kumui. There are so many promises from God. In fact, the promises are as many as the needs of all men. Whatever your needs are, there is a promise that's appropriate for the problem you have. And that promise is coming to your life. And the Lord is going to roll the problems away in Jesus' name. The promises are as firm as the faithfulness of God. These promises are as fresh as when they were first proclaimed by the Lord because he is eternal because it's always there and whatever you said before in a fresh way in a new way is still saying the same thing today the promises of God that we're going to read and every promise of the word of God that you read they are always as fixed always as fresh always as dependable as when God made them for the first time, there is no possibility of failure. In your life, there's no possibility of failure. In your family, there's no possibility of failure. There is nothing he said he will do, which he now turns around and he says, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I can do that. I don't have the might. I don't have the power. Never. Because God is mighty is mightier than all contrary forces any other force in your life any other thing in your life that fights against the fulfillment of the promise of god the mighty god will crush them from your life god is omnipresent 
is there with you. The moment you mention the name of Jesus, it is done in Jesus' name. Now it's time to receive your miracle. Trust him, believe his word, and something is about to happen to you. You will not be sad, you will be happy. You will be gloomy, you will be glad. You know before you are going to be rich. Everything you've lost, everything is brought back now. Windows of heaven are opened over your house, over your family, over your life. And all the losses of the past will turn to gain. Every good thing you ever desired, every wonderful thing you ever wished for, every good thing you saw in the last of all, you said, Lord, if that could be me, yes, it is yours. You are blessed in the day, blessed in the night, blessed on the street, blessed in the house, blessed in the church. You are blessed at home. Everything your hand will touch will turn to a blessing. All the years of loss and the years of poverty and the years of crying and years of weeping, everything is taken away in Jesus' name. There is a new day ahead of you. There's a new thing you are going to do. You'll get to places you have never gone. You'll see things you have never seen. You'll taste what you have never tasted. The blessings you have never enjoyed, you'll enjoy them. The new thing that starts tonight will never stop in your life. Every day, a new miracle. Every week, a new miracle. Every year, a new breakthrough. And the goodness of the Lord will never stop in your life. The word has come out of my mouth and is putting miracle in your life in Jesus' name. I say what the Lord has said concerning you. You say what the Lord has said concerning you. And as two of us agree together and say the same thing, explosion of miracle will be taking place in your life. From the top of the eye to the tip of their toe, let there be healing and health. Let there be power. Let there be authority. Destroy every work of the devil. Now is the time for them to rejoice evermore. No tears, no weeping. Only joy and gladness. Confirm the miracle. Confirm the miracle. Confirm it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And that's your tonic for today. You can reach out to Dr. W.F. Kumui on his pages so you can get more of this therapeutic tonic. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. Bye for now. Hello, here is your tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumui. You get saved and quite a lot of things come along with that salvation. Total freedom. Every yoke cancelled. Every cause cancelled. Every rope and every chain that ties you and binds you, everything broken. The devil thought he could keep you in that scene. The devil has failed. When something is attached to you and is following you about and is tied to you, and you feel the heavy weight, all of a sudden, somebody comes and it breaks the cord, the association, the affiliation, and takes away that thing from you. The load is gone. You'll feel light. You'll feel free. And that is what Christ has come to do. You've been dragging it about. You've been pulling it about. And you have been saying, uh, O oh, wretched man that I am, O oh, wretched woman that I am, this sin is going to kill me. No, this sin cannot kill you. You see, people are thinking of my strength will make me free. My energy will make me free. My struggling will make me free. My endeavor will make me free. They're looking for something coming from the inside of them to make them free. You need to understand, when Christ was crucified, it was for you. When Christ died, it was for you. When he was buried, 
it was for you. And when he rose from the dead, that was for me. And he says, you are identified with Christ. Come to the side of Christ. He was crucified for me. He died for me. He was buried for me. He rose again for me. I am dead with him. My old nature is dead with him. Thank God you are free. Every chain of sin that bound you, you are free in Jesus' name. Just say this simple prayer with Dr. Kumi. It's close. You raise up your hand. You say, yes, Lord, I want that forgiveness. I want that forgiveness. I just say, Lord, I come out of my sin. And I come to you, Jesus, my Savior. I believe that you died for me. I believe I have this forgiveness now by the blood that you shed for me. Lord, I come to you. I come out of darkness. I come to the light. I come under the cleansing, forgiving blood of Jesus. I receive now the miracle of mercy for the sinner. Raise up your hand. I'm going to pray for you. The Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our new brothers and sisters. I thank you because whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise reject. Whatever they have done in the past, whatever, how ter however terrible it may be, I pray, Lord, forgive them in Jesus' name. We trust in the power, cleansing power of the blood of the Lamb. I will pray that you take every guilt away. Take every condemnation away. And Lord, I pray the peace of God will settle in their hearts. Assure them, Lord, because of the blood of Jesus, their sins are forgiven. But because of the blood of Jesus, their souls are saved. Because of the blood of Jesus, they will not perish. Because of the blood of Jesus, you will take them to heaven. Lord, I pray you confirm that salvation in every heart, every soul, right now, in Jesus' name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations, you are free. You are free. I said you are free. You are going to be fruitful. Your family, you are going to be fruitful. In the work of your hand, you are going to be fruitful. In your profession, you are going to be fruitful. Every form of barrenness, spiritual, barrenness, physical, barrenness, finance, barrenness, food to eat, barrenness, joblessness. Every form of barrenness is taken away from your life in Jesus' name. Healing will follow you. Deliverance will follow you. Prosperity will follow you. Answer to prayer will follow you. You will not be searching and looking. Where is my healing? Where is my healing? Don't worry. It will just follow after you. Congratulations. I rejoice with you. You are now saved. Please share your testimonies with us. There are social media platforms. Dr. W.F. Kumi will love to hear from you. And that's today's Tonic with Dr. W.F. Kumi. Hello, here is your Tonic for today with Dr. W.F. Kumi. He brought us out for the purpose so that he might bring us in. We came out of evil that we may come into his goodness. We came out of darkness that we might come into the light. And so he says, come. You come out. You come in. Because he said, and he brought us out that he might bring us in. He to give us the land which he swear unto our Father. And that's what the Lord is telling you, that the very first step you take, the very first step you take, is that you come out. And then you come in. Come up hither. Come up hither. You come out. You come in so that you can come up. 
you are going to come up. You will not be tail, you will be head. You are going to come up. You will not be on the ground, you will be on the top. You are going to come up. You will be on the mountain top. You will be going higher and higher and higher in Jesus' name. But you must take that first step. You come up, it's your blessing. You come up, it's your possession. You come up into the promise of God. You come up into the glory of God in your life. You come out. You come in. You come out. When do you do that? Because you can say, I will come. You want to suffer a little more. You want to be in the hand of the devil a little more. If there is any time to come, if there is any time to give your heart, your life, your mind, your whole personality unto God, it is now. If there's any time to say, yes, I'm going to obey the Lord, he says, come and I will give you rest, I'll give you life. It is now. Now he says, come now. You cannot miss that. He says, this is the time. He says, this is the day. He says, this is the moment. You must take that step and let us reason together, says the Lord. Then he says, though your sins be as college, they'll be white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, I'll wash them as white as wool. Then if you be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. Number one, car. Number two, continue. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. He's waiting for you. Do not delay. Just give him control over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, whosoever comes to Christ, you will not cast away. They come out of darkness and they come to Jesus, Lord and Savior. According to your promise, receive them in your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Now it's time to receive your miracle. Trust him, believe his word, and something is about to happen to you. Lord, we pray resurrection power to come upon your people. Wake them up. Raise them up. All the powers of the devil, all the oppression of sickness, all those manifestations of demons, I command you right there. Come out in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. And that's your tonic for today. You can reach out to Dr. W.F. Kumui on his pages so you can get more of this therapeutic tonic. Stay blessed, my friend, and don't miss the next one. Bye for now. Hello, my friend. Here is your tonic for today, live from Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. All men, women, children, young people everywhere, as we connect with the Lord, something spectacular will happen in your life. Unprecedented miracle. It was a time of reconnection. As sounds of joy rent the air, it was testimonies all the way. This my eye was, I have problems more than one month now. And I come with swell up of the eye. And this my hand, I couldn't move it. I couldn't move it when I came. Then after prayer, I discovered the swell up is no more. And I can move my hand right now. Praise the Lord. He was calm. He was cool. But yet, well collected. As Dr. W.F. Kumuyi mounted the podium to deliver a message just for you. Sin came in. Sin caused separation from God. And the word of God makes it very clear. Your sin your iniquity, your transgression has separated you from me. Satan confined sinners to godlessness. They didn't repent. They only gave excuse. You see, when the Lord is saying, I want to show you mercy. I want to forgive you. I want to turn your life around. If you accept and you apologize and you pray and you repent, redemption will come. Salvation will come. The mercy of God will come. But if you give excuse for all the things the Lord is saying, where are you? 
Why have you done this? What has this taking place in your life? If you give excuse, then Satan will confine such a person to godlessness and to evil and to suffering and to the sickness. But if you say, Lord, I don't have any excuse. I sinned. I did evil. All I'm asking for is mercy. Mercy will reach you there. Forgiveness will reach you there. Salvation will reach you there. What do you think? about all the suffering we have in the world today all that suffering would not have come except there was a disconnection from the Lord and the Lord wants to say you know why you are suffering you know what the problem is it's because of this disconnection now come be reconnected and I praise God for you something good will happen as you reconnect with the Lord today in Jesus name for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever who is that whosoever there that whosoever believeth in him will not perish you will not perish I said you will not perish will not perish but have everlasting life but it is whosoever believeth on him that makes it unique it means it's not just like everybody you must be willing you must be repentant and you must totally and personally wholeheartedly give yourself to the Lord and then as you do that uniquely by yourself then the unique connection, reconnection, it will take place again, a unique reconnection. You may call it mathematics. We call it introduction to heavenly mathematics. As Dr. Kumuyi will now introduce you to the great reconnection. Anywhere you are, online, just tell the Lord now to raise up your hand and then you pray, you say, Lord, I turn away from my sin and I receive you now as my personal savior. Don't mind if other people are not doing it you in particular. It is unique with you. I receive the Lord as my personal savior. And it makes the reconnection with the heavenly father now. And then you become a child of God. Keep up that hand as I pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, according to your promise that whosoever comes to you through Christ, you will in no wise reject. I pray you receive all these people now in Jesus' name. And I pray forgiveness will be for every one of them without exception in Jesus' name. And I'm asking, Lord, that the Spirit of God will be a witness in their heart. Their sins are forgiven. Their sins are wiped away. And you have cleansed and washed them. And sin will not be their ruin anymore in Jesus' name. And give them the power and the grace to go and sin no more. New life. New name. New nature. New nationality and a new creature. Make every one of them one by one in Jesus' name. And we pray that the Spirit will confirm that they are now children of God and you have set them free. Assure them, Lord, you have received them and you have written their name in the book of life in heaven. Confirm it for every repentant, believing sinner in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. Jesus name we pray it's time to activate the light that will bring your shine we know that you are the mighty God you are a loving God and your love and your mercy touches everyone and your goodness is for everyone we're asking Lord Lord that right now all that brought suffering affliction sickness wipe everything away in Jesus name we're asking, O oh Lord, that all the calamities, all the disaster, all the diseases, and all the infirmity, take everything away in Jesus' name. And I pray that whatever miracles, signs, and wonders, healing, deliverance, dominion, anyone is asking for now, 
grant it to them right now. Confirm the healing. Confirm the deliverance. Confirm the dominion. Confirm the miracles, signs, and wonders on everyone. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Sure you got it. We'd love to hear from you. Please connect with us on this platform and let's know what God is doing for you. To listen to this message, follow this link in the description below. Guess what? It's just day one and you can connect all the way. Who knows? Your testimony may just be the next. Join us again tomorrow for the next Divine Tonic. It will surely be a good drink. See you there. If you want to lose weight, you need to see this new bedtime ritual that melts fat while you sleep. Deborah, a 58-year-old mom from Utah discovered it while she was in lockdown in China, and she used it to melt away 43 pounds during her lockdown, and then went on to lose over 70 pounds in total. The fat melted away from her body every night while she was asleep in her bed, all without any workouts or exercise, and without strict diets of any kind. In fact, she was eating four to five Chinese meals every day, which were filled with fried rice, fatty pork, dumplings, and all kinds of sauces. In the next 10 seconds, you'll learn exactly how you can use it too. Deborah was locked down in China with a very special family from a long line of Eastern medicine doctors, and what they showed her is unlike anything we've ever seen before in the West. This family revealed a 900-year-old secret tonic that completely reset her natural fat-burning rhythm. All she had to do was drink it 30 minutes before bed, then she would enjoy the deepest sleep of her life, and melt away pounds and pounds of unwanted fat all night long. Every morning she would wake up and see the number on the scales go down, and now you can, too. This ancient tonic is made from 100% safe and natural ingredients that are so powerful, you'll be able to feel the fat melting off right away, as your clothes get looser and you feel lighter and happier every morning. Since Deborah's discovery, over 90,000 people have used this to reclaim their dream bodies, people like Mary, Janine, and Rebecca, who all used this exact tonic to lose over 35 pounds in a few weeks without any additional diet or exercise. And Kevin and Rob, who also lost over 40 pounds just by taking 10 seconds to do this one effortless thing before bed. The best part is this is actually especially effective for those in their 40s, 50s, 60s and above. Never waste time and money on traditional diet and exercise-based solutions that we all know don't work ever again. Click the learn more button below and start melting away fat today, before it's too late and this information gets removed. If you suffer from diabetes type 2 or pre-diabetes, this might be the most important video you ever watched. Top doctor from Arizona has discovered the real root cause of high blood sugar, and it has nothing to do with eating carbs or sugar, or even genetics, but instead with beta cells inside the pancreas. While most medications can keep the symptoms of diabetes at bay, they don't actually treat the root cause of the problem. So before you resign yourself to being hooked on medication for life, you've got to see this now. This well-known doctor from Arizona was forced out of his practice after he unveiled a billion dollar secret he wasn't supposed to know. A clinically proven simple six second trick you can use starting today to potentially eliminate type two diabetes, regardless of your age or medical condition. And it works like crazy. More than 43,000 people are already doing it, and they have been able to treat their type 2 diabetes successfully, while also losing pound after pound of diabetic fat. Remember, this has nothing to do with meds, fad diets, exercise, or expensive treatments. Well, stop everything you're doing and click the link below to watch a short, free special video this doctor created. The $390 billion diabetes industry doesn't want you to see this video and discover the extraordinary diabetes fighting secret. Watch it now before it's too late.
I'm so glad to know that you are there with us again. Here is your tonic for today, live from Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. Today, your mountain will roll away in Jesus' name. Even if God has to do it one stone at a time. It was a fulfilling Friday as every tank got filled. You know what I mean? Joy in the air. Jubilation everywhere. Testimonies rent the airwaves. I came to visit my mother-in-law. So a sister has been, she has been inviting me to the program. I told her that the, I don't have faith that I will be healed. The only faith I have is that God will make a way.